Hey, I'm Jeffrey, this is Stacy, and welcome to the first edition of Tea Cozy Chats. So Tea Cozy Chats are where we take the things that we find interesting, cute, funny during the week, and we compile them into one episode to share them with you guys. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Let's start off with this amazing animation from OK Art. It combines two beloved franchises, um, you know, beloved by us. Like I mm. loved Avatar, and like Stacy's fave as a kid was Pokemon. Oh right? yeah, I was a hardcore fan. <laughs> Original one hundred and fifty only. After that, you you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's have a look. Water. Hamilton. Air. Oh, okay, so from Avatar, ignoring the Pokemon, which element would you like to have bended? I always liked water. To mm. you would be Squirtle. Yeah, I mean Squirtle's so cute, so no question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choose based not on the Avatar series, but based on the Pokemon. And I would like mm. Charmander, so I guess I would be a Firebender, which I know is controversial in the case of Avatar, but why is it controversial? I mean, you got some of our most beloved characters, you know, Uncle Iroh. Zuko. Well, sure, Uncle <laughs> Iroh I can get down with, but Zuko is a bit of a brand. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he had a, the greatest redemption arc, and you know. History. Ooh, all of history. <laughs> so something else that came on our radar this week is that Taiwan is on the hunt for a new passport cover. So they opened up submissions to artists all around Taiwan who have been submitting their vision for the passport. And throughout August, they had Taiwanese people vote via a website. So there were a lot of submissions. Mm. I think I counted well over 100. Yep. But, oh my gosh, were some of them so cute. So there were, my personal favorite is a little bird with a boba tea, like balancing on his head. Oh. That was super cute. It is a white cover though, so kind of hard to keep clean. But cuteness would make up the for that. The cuteness factor, yeah. Yeah, what about you? <laughs> uh, there were a few really good ones. The whale, it was kind of like minimalist. Um, the butterfly, the O. Oh, the the cat there was like a general or like a captain cat um very mm, cute. the cat was really cute <laughs> uh i saw someone refer to it affectionately on twitter as i think something like captain meow meow fuzzy face <laughs> i mean if your passport had captain meow meow fuzzy face like you would your, travel yeah. so often <laughs> <laughs> so the voting has already closed and this month they're going to select the winner of the passport so we'll know pretty soon who they selected What's the bet that they're going to choose one of the most boring ones? Yeah, hopefully not, though. We need some innovation on the passport <laughs> front. <laughs> we do. Gosh dang it. We do. <laughs> so I'm not much of a baker myself. And after seeing this clip, I don't think I could ever reach these. Like, I'm just intimidated. I might never bake ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. One, where is she getting all these props? Two, how are really. they doing this, like, special effects? I like, the moon is her rolling pin. <laughs> Three, the creativity required for this. Who opens a coconut like that? The strength. Skills. <laughs> Bird is so skilled with precise egg laying in midair. <laughs> Brush. <laughs> Ooh, fire thunder here. Oh, she's like she's a charmander. Wow, honestly. I'm just, I could watch this over and over and over again yeah. forever. Like the... The special effects are just amazing. Wow. Yeah. Like... Special effects, the editing, the acting, mm. the... Whoever put it together, all the props, the planning. Honestly, if this... Like, if you think about the things that go viral in TikTok, mm. and then you think of this, and the effort, and the results of all that effort, 
this has to go viral. Like, this cannot. There are TikTok videos, and there are TikTok videos. Exactly. <laughs> this is one of the latter. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, go share it, make it go viral. Appreciate it. Yeah, we put that. We dropped the link in the description. Check out Sha Sha Do. Do you know the origin of the high five? Yes, because you told me earlier this week. <laughs> but guys, no, for real, this one is like was mind blowing. I'm shook after hearing this. To be honest. All right. Well, strap yourselves in. Um, you would expect the high five to be something that humans have done for all of history, but it was actually invented in 1977 by two baseball players in an MLB game. They were Dusty Baker, who hit the home run, and he celebrated with Glenn Burke, his teammate, who also happens to be the first openly gay baseball player in MLB history. How cool is that? really cool but i just can't believe that the high five is just basically a little over 10 years older than me i don't know like does that make me really old or the high five really young the latter right young for sure <laughs> so something else that's been coming up on my radar a lot of late is actually a strawberry dress so i first noticed it was starting to pop up on bts fan accounts art accounts where people were drawing either characters or like photoshopping people into this strawberry dress and initially i was like oh my god i actually know this dress so larika matoji is a designer that i've been following on instagram for the last while um she's also the designer of the very very cute cherry top and cloud jumper. cloud jumper yeah so i was really excited when i saw her dress popping up on all these characters and just thought as more and more kept coming in it's such a cute fad also i kind of wonder what's going on with dresses and becoming like fads on the internet like do you remember that weird one where people were like what color is this dress <laughs> gold and white green I don't think Jeffrey knows what I'm talking about <laughs> but yeah I just thought it was like super cute super wholesome and today I noticed that Larika has announced that there's going to be a strawberry shirt for men and women and also a black version of the strawberry dress which is cute because I noticed that a lot of fan art did a black version of it so I guess it's proven to be popular so now there's going to be a black version Lastly, we want to congratulate BTS on hitting number one of the Hot 100. Ooh. Sadly, we have to say goodbye to Blue June. Mm, yeah, RIP Blue June. Our time together was short and mm. bittersweet. But we had some good times. <laughs> we did. And now he is being replaced by Brown June. Brown June. <laughs> which, while it's also iconic, is not quite as iconic as Blue June. Mm. Never know, maybe Blue June will have a resurrection someday. <laughs> I mean, the last time we had Blue June was Fire. That was 2016. Uh, so that was four years. So we might not get a Blue June until 2024. So, we'll see. so if we just rocked your world, destroyed your weekend, throwing you into the pit of despair, let us leave you with a clip of an otter cuddling with a cat. <laughs>